spring, 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 spring. With winter just winding down, we're all dying to get outside. It's spring, it's getting warm, and today we're gonna cover some amazing trees and shrubs you can add to your landscape and gardens. Welcome to Outdoor Inspirations. All my plant peeps, let's spring into it. All right, we got a different plant to show you as far as not having flowers, but foliage. Hello, Spirea. This one's called Double Play Candy Corn. And just look at this amazing burnt reds, oranges, and yellows uh, foliage. So it's giving you a lot of color through its foliage. This is a deciduous shrub that stays under three feet tall, you know, that two to three feet range in width. It's a really nice plant to give you some pop, give you some wow in the gardens is what we're looking for. So that spring color, early spring, go for the gold, go for double play candy corn spirea. Zones four to eight, average moisture, average soils, very hardy plant, no real insect or disease issues. So it's very easy to grow. We call this low maintenance which a lot of people love. So this is a low maintenance plant that's just gonna give you a lot of friendship over the years in your landscape. It's gonna be there for you every year. Come back and just give you these amazing color tones to really complement any kind of other shrub as far as being green, as far as being reds. Uh, etc. It's going to really adapt to some different colors for you. And so just a really versatile plant. Check it out. Spirea Double Play Candy Corn. All right, guys, this one's really nice. This is a magnolia. It's called Jane. Jane Magnolia. It's actually deciduous. It's a large growing plant, and believe it or not, they classify them most times as a shrub, but we classify them as ornamental trees when we're designing landscapes for our clients. This is a great patio tree, if you will. This will take full sun or part sun, so it's adaptable to some nice scenarios as far as sun exposure. Has this amazing large bloom that's profusely around the whole plant. It just gets covered in these amazing lavender purple uh, flowers that are pretty large and in charge. On the inside, it adds a dual attraction, opening up to white on that inside of the cup. It's a cup-shaped flower for the most part, and it just covers the whole tree, really pronounces spring very well. It makes a nice statement in your landscape um, areas. And it's very adaptable to different soils. It prefers more of a loamy, sandy type soil base. This is uh, zones four to eight. And um, it's just a really nice plant to give you some vertical height, vertical color for that early spring is here type of um, calling in your landscape. But this is great on its own as a specimen plant or mass plant these if you have enough space. Um, they do get 10 to 15 feet tall, and they will get about 8 to 12 feet wide. So it'll fill up your landscape really nice. Add this one to your next visit to the nursery, Magnolia Jane. All right, Plant Nation, one of my faves, winter jasmine in the house. This is, this is a great deciduous shrub to add to a lot of different techniques that we use, mainly erosion control. Hillside mass planting is where winter jasmine has its happiest of homes. So what the unique thing about this guy, these, you know, very spidery type branch effect that it has, once this grows down again, 
weeping form. It'll hit the mulch soil and then it'll actually sprout new roots and keep growing. And it gets really wide. It gets over six feet wide. And the rerooting effect of the branches makes it great for erosion control and that stability of shoring up your hillsides, your slopes, etc. It's a deciduous plant and it's an early spring bloomer. It gives you this really vibrant yellow in that late winter, early spring. Very easy to care for, very low maintenance, average soils, average watering once established. Uh, zone 6 to 10, so it has a nice range there. Pruning wise, you don't have to prune these a lot. You know, they get about four feet tall eventually and they have that weeping habit. This is one of the plants that we tell people don't prune if you can uh, help it, please, because it's not going to want to hedge out for you. It's not going to want to get circled around and become a uh, lollipop ball. So another great spring blooming plant that you can add to your landscape, winter jasmine. All right, got big Jake working that cam. So this is our last plant we're gonna to cover today. This is Forsythia Gold Border. Really nice, big showcasing spring bloomer for you guys. Just an unbelievable plant that you can mass plant or put by itself. Generally, we like to put these in mass plantings or hedges because they fill in each other so well. And it's an informal look for the most part. And this happens to be clusters of two or three together. This is a large growing shrub. It gets a deciduous shrub and it gets six to nine feet tall um, and almost as wide. Uh, zones six to nine, I believe. Average soil, average care, fairly low maintenance. You know, if you're gonna prune these back down, keep them as a hedge, which is very difficult to do because they grow fast, then you're gonna wanna wait till the blooms finish, obviously, which is gonna be late spring, early summer. Go ahead and knock those down. And then as it grows through the year, make sure you do your final pruning before those buds start to develop on the branches. Um, Cause once the buds are there, anything you prune or cut off, it won't be there next spring, right? So this is a late winter, early spring blooming shrub. It is uh, just amazing. That show stopping yellow, so bright. So it's gonna make for really nice, color improvements to your landscape and garden areas help brighten up some spaces. It is a little hefty three-ply type plant, so it's going to get a little bit brawly on you. So you definitely need some sizable areas to let it grow. All these plants that we're covering today are great solutions to add some color into your spring blooming situation. You know, thank you to Adcox Nursery today. Had a great time with these people the staff is amazing they keep the place so tidy me and jake were running through all the aisles just admiring how well kept they are you know they do a great job and um, if you have any comments or suggestions please put those below we'd love to hear from you and uh, until next time guys outdoor living it's all about the plants the plants